Guys, I apologize for the editing of this video up front. I had to work with a phone that we no longer could uh, transfer the videos. And I got to screenshot the pictures, but the videos I had to do this way. But I want to show you how we put a water line across our creek. Because we live up in a hill and uh, we have a creek there. So we had to get the water line across it. And so I want to show you how we did that. And it has worked wonderfully for three and a half years now, we've had winters down in nine degrees and stayed that way for two or three days and it's never frozen. We started out with either a six inch or an eight inch pipe. We had to add a piece to ours. So look over the part where we attached an extra piece there to this. Just giving a rough idea how we did this. But if you have any questions, you can uh, ask me down below. Just due to editing this, it was kind of difficult. As you can see here, we're running our main water line through this uh, big six inch pipe, but we'll be insulating it before we actually put it together. We had to use a reducer and some caps for our project, but to look over that, I want you to see in the right hand corner that cap with that hole in the top of it. Use two caps to put on each end of the six inch pipe that we had, and we drilled a hole the size of our water line in the top of both caps. On our main water line, we covered it with foam pipe insulation. And after that, we used Christie's 10 mil tape to wrap around that. We done that to the whole pipe, one inch pipe that was running through the six inch pipe. So it would be well insulated around it. And then we took, and then you'll see here, I just took plain old R19 insulation and I stuffed the pipe using another pipe to stuff it down in there all around the one inch pipe within the other pipe. And it is never froze, guys. Then we ran the one inch pipe through the caps that we had made the hole in and we put the caps on and sealed them good and then connected it to the main water lines. There she is, she's been there since November of 2017 and has never froze up or anything. And I do have a correction on the weather. We actually did have it colder first year we had about three nights that was actually below zero so it's done really well we're thankful that it's held up good and everything i've been wanting to do this video for a long time i hope it helps somebody i knew it was going to be a chore to try to piece together but i hope it helps somebody